to an arcing house. After spending the rest of the afternoon and night mostly preparing yourself to enact this break in entering, going to grab a few potions, grabbing a little bit of supplies here and there, uh, picking up a magical blanket that will warm a wooden dragon. That probably can't even feel heat. Who knows? <laughs> you can catch my fire. That's what I was just saying, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before scoping out the house for a good while, to try and make sure that you have a decent ideal layout of what is going on in the building itself. Finding that whatever is inside is some sort of awakened furniture to some degree. Upon breaking into the house itself, even figure out that that is more than true, as brooms, tables, and statues are all apparently affected by this. Including a rug that nearly smothered Jack. After looney tuning your way uh, through the household. Fucking Fantasia and shit. Yeah, getting a little bit into Fantasia, destroying some brooms, the rug, and the chair, and Ashton accidentally becoming a tree for half a second. Fuck off. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Apparently, Fenella completely missed that Jack moan while he was being smothered by the carpet. And when he was hit. Yeah, yeah that's, when, that's when I pointed it out. That's why I pointed it out. <laughs> but. After the kinky experience, you guys went back and <laughs> discovered a few more rooms before actually actively investigating to find a hidden passageway and discovering that it was in the very first room y'all invaded in in the first place. The cabinet being open and revealing a hidden stairwell that leads down into the deep darkness of the underground. That is where we pick back up. How long do I have left on Detect Magic? Uh, you did it re rather recently, so I would say about, like, six, seven minutes. Okay. Well, just don't go near the table. <laughs> you guys have walked past that table several times. It has not reacted. And we've left the room at this point, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. We're heading down whatever staircase, and I'm looking for traps. Make an investigation check. Uh, with help from my familiar. familiar. Okay. Didn't need it. Good. Heading down this pathway, you are pretty secure that there are no such traps, no such tomfoolery going on on the stairwell below. And as you guys keep walking and walking, it's not the longest walk in the world, but there's something about how steep and angled it is that makes it just feel that much more cavernous to a certain degree. I don't know about you guys, but the fact that there's no traps seems more concerning. I mean, I don't think he expects people to just break into his house, though. Because we're not finding, like, even... There's no... Like, Volmer's not picking up any magical shit on the walls, like arcane runes and... Not in that hallway, no. Not okay. in the stairwell. The stairwell so... itself seems to be completely untouched of magic of any kind. Not like a map dead zone. I think, um, try being quiet again. Oh. Yep. Uh, at this point, Sasha Chase would be gone. Would it? Yes, it's an hour. It's an hour? I thought it was an oh hour. Oh my god, an hour. What the fuck? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. I did not mean to click that it's not, twice. It's not advantage. It's I, just... I am aware. I did not mean to click that twice. My oh, mouse okay. was overactive. It's not advantage. It's not it's just all plus time. It's just plus time. Yeah. Stealthier than vanilla. <laughs> I'd hope so. Not accomplishment. Oh, God. Good job, Beryl. We're proud of you. I'm focusing on the spell. So... 33... 28... 22... 21... 17... and 28. Sounds about right. Yeah. Not bad. That's <laughs> not crazy. None of that is bad, let's be real. Thank God for the plus 10. Yeah. <laughs> Like, if I could have this spell myself, I would fucking have it, but... 
how do you guys make it down the stairwell itself? Eventually, uh, Vomer, you would get a ping of magic coming from down below, just a little ways. And upon, at the end, at the bottom of the stairwell, turning right, you immediately see a door that is containing said magical ping. And past that doorwell, or doorway, sorry, you get additional pings just like you had before of enchantment and other such things. Very basic and very quaint. So if there's something magic behind that door, uh, what score is it? Uh, the door itself? Double check that. Huh? The door itself is abjuration. That's... Also, the door does have abjuration magic. Protection based, yeah? Mm. I believe so. Yeah. Possibly alarm. Uh, we should probably try dispelling that. Which would be one of you two. <clears throat> I mean... Who feels more comfortable? I had an accident upstairs already, so I think we're probably good, right? Yeah, you're good then. What's the chance that we should have to get? I'm okay with that. Okay. Alright, cool. will respond. So we'll have Ashran dispel. Okay. Uh, hey, Volmer. How high of a level do you think that is? Did you get? That is not said in the spell. I can't tell what the spell. Cool. Should I just do a regular old third level, or should we just bump it up a little bit? Uh, would Jack know, like, what level, like, Arcane Lock would be? Give me an Arcana check. 21? I would say so. It's not the most complicated spell in the world. It's just not used all that often, just because it actually costs money to use it. It's only a second level. It's only second level? Okay. I would say just do a basic dispel. Okay. I'd agree with that, yes. My mouse is fucking stupid today. <laughs> Your mouse is ultra sensitive apparently today. Well, it's funny because it sent it twice, but it only took off one spell slot. I imagine because DD Beyond is kind of a little bit smarter than that. kind of goes like you pressed it once, even like a little bit of time before you press it again. I guess. I would hope so, because that could run a lot of problems. But, perfectly fine. As you cast your standard Dispel Magic on the door itself, very easily and very basically, without even needing much effort, you feel the magic dissipate and shatter off. We good, Volmer? Did it all go away? Seems clean. It seems like it seems so. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look for traps real quick. Familiar helping me. Make investigation check. Oh god. One. Jesus Christ. With help, if it wasn't in that one. Okay, fair enough. Still 11. <laughs> Still 11. That's a one out of three. Uh, as clear. far as you can tell, this is a very well made crafted door. There's no traps that you can notice or anything of the degree. Is it locked? Very good woodwork. Is it locked? You try open it? Yeah. Okay. I'll pull out my lockpicking tools. Wow, I am rolling like... 15. You try and get at this lock, and to no surprise to you or anyone in this group, a very powerful Archmage has some very powerful locks without magic. What's on the door? No. No, 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 no. Uh, Vivian, you want to give me a hand here? Or I can do it. You're really shoddy. You're trembling a lot. Bullshit. And I'll help you. I mean, I can open it. No? I'm curious. It worked last time. I'm curious. What do you mean last time? When I was on the boat. Nobody else was there. 
Ashrin, what are you planning? I just shot a magic missile into it and it popped open last time. Last time. Go for it. I want, no. I want to see that. Let's, let's not break I down the door. I, I, I can see how that would work. I don't think it's a good idea. Also, whispering. <laughs> we don't know what's on the other side. It could be fucking Castian for all we know. Can I tell what school of magic is on the other side? <clears throat> Uh, you get the very uh, usual enchantment and other little bits of abjuration that have gone on in the house. Okay, I'm gonna assist uh, Fabian. Okay. Just enough. As you help her out in basically helping her lead what you experienced yourself during the lock picking, he takes the information to good use and eventually after about a two or so minute effort which definitely proves how difficult this lock was to begin with you eventually hear the very faint and quiet just tumble on the lock okay i'm a peek and actually i'm gonna crack the door just slightly i'm gonna send in my familiar and look through her eyes Okay. While she's invisible. Just to see, well, I'm gonna give you an aura because I need to know what 30 feet is from you. You're the detector right now. 30 feet. Yeah, I like you. Boop. Okay. Okay. As you send in Lily for a couple instances, do you have dark vision? I think That's a so. very good question, actually. Uh, how the fuck does a sprite not have dark vision? Then she cannot see down here. Give her the night vision goggles. <laughs> you could. She's just here holding just one side of the lenses up to herself. <laughs> fuck it, I'm just gonna look in. Like, trying to be sneaky about it, but how the fuck does... Okay, whatever. Because cats don't have dark vision. Don't No, sprites don't Bro, care. that still drives me nuts. <laughs> it's still stupid. Cats can't jump. Oh, God, If cats yeah. can't jump, bunnies can't jump. Exactly. Hair. <laughs> so, as you stick your head inside, and what you see is a little bit hard to place only because of how the room is laid out, kind of, not strangely, but almost like there's some sort of patterning here that you can't really make out yourself, where you could describe it somewhat like a library of sorts, except there are these shelving in the dead center of the room, and instead of being on a wooden plank, a uh, wooden flooring, it's on more of like a stone obsidian-like floor. And instead of books inside of there, it's just empty cubbies. Up there. The fuck? Meanwhile, the rest of the room, you do see the occasional pillars that are rising up from the ground that have the candles that, to your acknowledgement at this point, probably have the same enchantment to light up to some degree. Yeah. While within a hundred, the goggles are sixty feet or one hundred twenty. Double check. Oh, I didn't actually put them in my inventory. Let's see. Double check. Goggles of nice. night. Sixty. Sixty, yeah. So you would just be able to see one stairwell, almost cusping the edge of your vision. That seems to be leaning downward even further. Right behind one of the. Okay. I'm uh, slowly move in whenever I can see the map. <laughs> 50 feet would have been up there. And all that. So, question. Mm -hmm. When we did the locate object, did Beryl see it at this level or was it below this, further underground? Give Veril quick perception check. <clears throat> I 
kind of saw further down. Like, it was down, down. Okay. So, obsidian floor. You said, like, these shelves looked empty? Yes. Like, over they here? They seem like almost bookshelf-like, but they seem more like cubbies with how they're segmented off, and they're currently empty. Okay, so this seems like his lab where he does some experiments and stuff. Um, I am going to kind of sneak up around just so I can get a full view of the area. Do you Unless... have Lily out? Good, big question. Do I have Lily out? Yes. I stay within Volmer's view, so I'm not stepping on any like arcane shit on the ground. Mm -hmm. I need Lily's make me a charisma saving throw. Christ, I'm gonna follow behind Jack just to make sure that, like, just keep an eye out for magic. Fourteen does not succeed. So as you guys are walking forward, and it's about in that moment, Volmer, that you feel a ping on the pillar where Jack is turning the corner on, at the same instant, you see it flare in a golden and blue-like hue. Where you just feel the ever-so-faint weight of Lily and that connection you have to her, cut off. Not gone, just cut off. Like, w cut off like when I make her disappear? Yes. What school magic is this? That is Abjuration. Okay. I don't like that pillar. It was Abjuration. I couldn't... I, I didn't notice it until... You turned the corner. My bad. Yeah, it's all good. So, what else do we see down here? Similar thing with these? Yeah, the same idea. Okay. Where they would be bookshelf in nature, but they seem to be segmented out cubbies that are all currently empty. And what about these two things here? <clears throat> the two there in the corner, one of them seems to be this not exactly a cage, so much as, like, um, a holding chamber for items. Because it doesn't have any sort of position for a creature. It doesn't have any sort of layout for one. It seems to have this, like, almost claw-like arm that's meant to hold onto something. And while it is large in nature, the actual claw itself is only about hand size. While the table on the corner side seems to be one that has a bunch of runic symbols that have been etched into it, and... At the moment, doesn't seem to be giving off any sort of magical essence of any kind to you, Volmer. But very clearly seems to be some kind of table to do some kind of magical runic experiment. Okay. Um, well, we have a staircase off, and I'll point off towards it. That's going to take us deeper. I just wanted to make sure we saw everything in here real quick. Uh, real quick, hey. Joel this whole time has their hand on top of Fanoa's head just to lead them. They're currently blind. I thought they were wild chip. They were wild chip. Oh, that's right. They, they were, were still badger. badger. Right. Uh huh. They do be badger. What's badger help? That's the whole thing. <laughs> so we all have dark vision now. Yes. Um. And they took a whack from a stick, so they have ten out of thirteen. Volmer. Any other surprises in here that they we need to know big... about besides the little lights? They did the big badger. I think. Okay, any other surprises in here that we need to know about beyond the lights? At the moment within your detect magic? No. If you want to try and look further, because you do have further dark vision, I believe. Oh no, you're just a high elf. Can you carry a and no a big blue circle. Huh? I, I have a big blue circle that I assume is for... That's the tech Yes. Yeah. I did that for my own sanity. Oh, that's right. Uh, Meryl did build the larger badger that was medium-sized, so yeah. I do not think that Fanoa can carry. Oh, uh, yes, she can. 
And they got more health than I think 13. I think they were like 80. They something. don't. A cave badger's only 13 was health. Was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it right it now. Really well. Fuck. Ashford, you need to keep in mind, vanilla can carry up to like 2,000 pounds. That's fair, but like, I think it's kind of awkward. It's like carrying an eight year old. Yeah. You can do it's it, awkward. it's just. Yeah, exactly. It's awkward, but you can do it. <laughs> And you are not no. going to be able to easily grab your sword if you need to. It's more like an eight-year-old trying to carry a ten-year-old. She has a eight, she has a badger in her hand. Why does she need a sword? <laughs> oh, the badger, badger is the badger. She has uh, tavern brawler. Jesus Christ! All right. Do you actually have tavern brawler? Yeah, yeah, I do because the stool. And then I wasn't gonna make the stool. That's why I was like, I'm gonna wear high heels all the time, so I always have just like little weapons. Barbarian Gnomon heels. That is a that is a thought. That is a fucking sight. F like for no <laughs> walk I around. I kind of fucking love that. I do too, but it's just it's just a thought. <laughs> Jacked as shit wearing these fucking high heels. So it just makes a booty pop is all it does. Like <laughs> how 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 how, yeah, no. how uh, tall are these heels? Like, like, did I give you an extra like what six inches? Are we talking more? I don't know. I haven't thought that far. I just thought okay. I was going to wear them and stab them. Twelve inches. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm going to head that way. <laughs> okay. As you cross the other direction off the way. Let me double check how long. Oh, okay. Double check. As you make your way Can that make... side of the... Since Jack is kind of taking point, I'm going to make sure to just constantly follow him, so that way if magic okay. is there, I can... And I will also constantly follow them to make sure that if I need to dispel anything, I'm there. <laughs> I will follow for emotional support. Beryl is... Things happen. Gerald is being carried by emotional support. To be emotional support for the emotional support. <laughs> as you are making your way to the other side, you eventually do get another ping from the pillar as well on that other side, right next to the stairwell in question. It seems to be another abjuration. And yeah, that's also a tune, like, has abjuration on it. Mm. Which one? The pillar right here. Okay. Uh, do we want to try to sneak around it, or you want me to try to take care of it? I'm... Wondering I if it's see. similar wards to what were placed in your father's study and on that. And that one was already triggered. I'm a little worried. I mean, we can keep dispelling. It... I'd go for it. Fuck it. All right. Just in case it's a different one. Ashley, do you want to do it, or do you want to save a spell slot and I do it? Well, I think I'd rather keep your, uh, detect magic up. Uh, dispel magic won't cut it off. It won't? Nope. It's only if you cast another concentration spell. Spell magic is not a, not a concentration spell. You know what? Go for it. That way, we both conserve spell slots, sort of. As you yourself cast a spell magic, kind of like before, it doesn't feel like anything too powerful. Just something there as a deterrent. As you dispel magic and rid it of the pillar itself, nothing else is there. Okay. After about a minute or so, Jack, that feeling of disconnect with Lily turns into a solitary break. Uh, what? Uh, fuck. It was a banishment spell. What? It... Is that the right school of magic? What does that mean? <laughs> Checking. It means that means vanilla should definitely stay in the back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so essentially, I have to resummon Lily. But 
that you can get her back, right? I can get her back, but anything that is hit with a banishment spell, if we do not get rid of it, um, it within one minute, if you're from this plane, you'll just come back. But if you're not from this plane, like Fanoa, you stay in the plane that you get banished to, which is your home plane. Yeah, so basically, if I get hit, I'll see y'all in hell. It was nice knowing <laughs> you. Pretty much, yeah. So, um... You hear Bajeral whimper. God damn it. Bajeral? The fuck? <laughs> she said it. I'm following it. That's so dumb. I'm just glad it's it gone. works, though. It works. You can't so lie. Dumb. <laughs> well. If they're a barrel, that does not make them barrel. Yeah, I think we already decided that, didn't we? Yeah! I, I think Noah did that, that again. I really want to spite this motherfucker now. Anywho, keeping looking for traps as I'm going. Go ahead and give me an investigation check real quick. Without the assistance? <laughs> <laughs> Can I, like, talk to Pestin real quick? What plane yeah. of existence are you from, exactly? I've come from the material. Alright, just make it. Good to know, thank you. And now I know that even if the second soul I have is somehow his, I'm not gonna get, like... Yeah. <laughs> can never be too safe. I like that the moment you lose Lily is when you get to 25 on your own. <laughs> Spite investigation. Yeah. Uh, as you keep searching around the room and looking as close as possible, you eventually do see that little urn just on the left side corner of where that pillar is. And for the brief moment, you wonder if maybe that's there for some sort of reasoning. Don't see anything wrong with it. Move on along. And you kind of begin to approach the stairwell itself, going past the additional cubby holes that are also empty. You notice that behind one of said cubby holes is just a trap door. And I would say with that 25 investigation, you can easily tell it's not trapped, but it is locked. Um... Look to everyone else, because I'm guessing they're filing behind me, we're just not moving tokens. Um... Do we want to open that trap door and see what's down there? Or leave it? My question is, are we actually talking about investigating an Archmage's house? Yeah. That's what we're doing right now. We're robbing it. That's different from investigating it. Well, to find what we need, we do need to investigate. Don't you have some way to do that? That we weren't running blind. Uh, I don't know if Feral can do another locate object. Hey, Fanoa, can you ask? Hey, hey, Bajero. <laughs> Little buddy. Are you, are you able to do another locate object, or is that a no-go? Double check, I don't think they could do that yet. I cannot do that yet. They can't, sorry. Uh, since you do have a uh, speak with animals up, uh, they would explain that they have to change back out of animal form to cast those spells. Yeah, that's what I thought. They can't do it while wild shaped right now. No. Okay, well. This seems like his, like, experimental laboratory, whatever the fuck. Um. I, there's probably some creature down there. Fuck it. Let's just go. Head down the stairs. I'm gonna have to agree with that reasoning. Yeah. Like... And me as a player is very curious. I want to investigate every inch <laughs> of this place. It's my completionist bullshit. At the same time, it's like... And I'm also annoyed and want to inconvenience this motherfucker for banishing my goddamn familiar. Shoes. I want to do more than that. I kind of want to go dispel that fucking table over there. <laughs> there. There is no magical essence on it at all. 
But there, uh, there's no, like, runes or nothing on it? Okay. That I want to just, like, carve into it. Just a big, giant line. <laughs> just draw an L. Draw a dick is what I do. No, on words. I like the short one. <laughs> yeah, can you give it, like, little pubes, too? A small one with a bunch of pubes that cover over it. Make it look like a bush. And then, like, <laughs> like make an arrow to it and then just write your dick. <laughs> Oh, we're immature and petty. I love it. Yep. We yep. are too immature to be playing this game. No, we're just the right amount of immature to be playing this game. Oh, God. I've been left in the dark all by myself. Don't worry. We all are. You've been chosen for the sacrifice. There's no knowing you. Oh, no, I'm there. Never mind. There we go! So, as you walk down the semi-spiraling staircase, before eventually hitting the bottom, which is only about another 30 or so feet below, and you would notice that on the ceiling itself where that trapdoor once was, is this cubicle-like box, where down beneath it is another almost releasing trapdoor, to another trapdoor below where that spot would be naturally and the flooring itself. The fuck? But the bigger focus of this room is that you notice that it's quite vastly empty, all things considered. The biggest thing of note are four cages on the other side of the room more than anything, and occasional pieces of restrainment kind of hung on the wall like manacles or things that are meant to actually tie you up to the wall and keep you there. The shelvings on the other side of the room seem to have a ton of different materials and equipment that questionably have uses here and there. To the far right side of the room, which would be to your left, technically, uh, there is a vast majority of crates and boxes that all seem to be opened or uh, sealed off with two table desks that seem to have a mess of documentation and other such desk-like items in between. And you would also notice that there are two drainage holes just pretty much near each other, right on top of the uh, restrainment device. But the biggest thing that comes of note is that in one of the four cages along the other side of the room. Very visibly and very clearly, you see a man hung up by both wrists, latched by the waist, and attached by the legs. Head hung, seemingly unscathed for most cases. Castio. That's this one. Why do you have to do this to me? Probably not find out. Any, um, just, uh, any magic things? Right next to you? No. Okay. So he is completely latched up, locked up. Yep. Wrists up, ankles are tied, even the waist is lashed in the cage itself. Okay. Boomer. Stepping there, you get just within range of cows here. There is it is. And incredible magical source comes off of him. Unidentifiable, but immense. I shouldn't be careful. He's got a powerful magic source on him. Um, Doesn't have a school, but it's pretty immense. Can I see from where I'm at if he's, like, breathing or alive? Give me a perception check. Natural 20. What? My fucking <laughs> mouse is being stupid today. But, thinking back on the few times you've interacted with Castian as he is, breathing is not exactly something that uh, 
he has done. Which is partially what gave off the idea he was partially undead. But, given the two interactions that you've had, it's not so much that he breathes so much as... The body still has some semblance of color to it. Even though it's almost nothing of him, it still gives some idea that he's there. And as you kind of look at the skin, even with the head hung, you can just ever so faintly see that tinge of pink still seeing through it. And every so occasion, since you have a nat 20, you can just ever so faintly see the hair just shift. Like he's asleep, trying to wake up. Check magic myself. Okay. Just real boring. I could just check it out, shit. And I'm gonna move to our men range of all this shit back here. Okay. Also, totally out of character. Is anyone concerned by the teeny tiny little bed? You can't see that bed. Shut up. I know, but it's so tiny. I am now. <laughs> uh, but as you walk over to this side of the chamber itself, instantly you get pings of both residual and active magic on the pillars, on the crates, the boxes, the desks, all the documentation on there. Everything on there carries some semblance of magic. Okay, so before... Once I get that ping on the pillars, I guess I was there. What is that one? Like, what are these schools of magic I'm looking at here? Before that I pillars get... abjuration. Okay, so I would move up a little bit like that and get the other two. Then you've got enchantment on both of these. And I'm going to call these out for him, because I'm pretty sure... Does Jack have Detect Magic? Yes. He, he just has, has Detect magic, magic up as well. Both of you yep. have it up. Yeah. 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 yeah, this is just... There I figure was... we can spread out. There was no School of Magic on Castian. Bulmer. There is no School of Magic, because it is unidentifiable. It can't be identified, but that just means that there's a high concentration of magical energy, not that it's not there. Does the magic on Castian seem familiar? To you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Fuck. Is it similar to the shard? Yeah. Focusing on that thought? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it's... The magical energy is quite similar to the actual shard. Yeah. Okay. No offense, y'all. I didn't get into this to perform surgery. Real quick, any pings from that room or that room? Both of those rooms you cannot read into. Oh. Okay. So, that shit over there, and I'm going to point towards the pillars, and, like, all those crates and shit like that, paperwork, like, what's that all giving off? It's a mix between enchantment, abjuration, and illusion. Okay, so there's a shit ton of fucking magic in that corner. Abjuration, enchantment, and illusion. I say Is it just crazy. coming from the pillars, or...? So this pillar is abjuration. Everything on there. Yeah, these two pillars are enchantment, and the rest is just spread out. Uh, I'm trying to dictate what's an item and what's a trap. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna focus on the dude? hanging here as a prisoner. Ashrin has literally not taken her eyes off of him the entire time. She's stressed out. She 
she knows that she shouldn't walk up to him, but she wants to, and she's having a real hard time here. Okay, so... What we know... Is that... He was a revenant. Or something... Not a, not a revenant, he was something else. Something fucked up that looked like a revenant. What is he now? I don't know, smart guy. You tell me. You're the magic person. Is... It is in a form. Is the magical energy, like, fixed in a point on him, or is it radiating from his whole body? Give me... Have your Connor... Can I try to figure this out, too? I'd go with perception. Go ahead and give me perception. Oh, let's hope for You're trying to pinpoint this soul. Okay. Okay. It's hard to give a exact location to a magical source that is currently kind of like blinding in a soul in a way. But when focusing on it as much as possible, Volmer, it's difficult for you, mostly just because of the school of magic that you study. It's not exactly akin to this. For Jack, who is trying to focus hard on that point, you realize that there's almost this very small centerpiece that seems to appear at the palm of his hand. Right hand. With that roll, does it seem like there's any incisions on his hand? When you kind of like try to look at the hand, even when it's kind of like faintly slumped over, you don't see anything audibly different with his hand. Is his hand closed? No, it's just slumped. Oh. I'm gonna move up. Still stealthily. Hopefully, keeping the previous one. Okay. <laughs> if you yeah. move up closer to the cage, and even maybe it kind of takes like a couple of steps closer, doesn't really put any further than that. I'm still trying to Carol look at his hand. Carol by Fenella. No notable reaction. Just silence. You can ever so faintly, gently hear just mumbling. Rumbling. As you're getting closer, you can kind of identify more clearly than before that the, the, the chains and lashes themselves, they have some kind of magic on them as well. Muffled heavily by whatever Cassian's giving off. They are there. Okay. And again, taking a look at his hand, trying to see if there's any modifications to it. There is no notable change. Looks like just a simple hand. Uh, what school are the chains giving off? Chains? I'm guessing abjuration. Enchantment. Or enchantment, okay. Are the chains what's keeping him asleep? <clears throat> Possibly. The thing is, though, we don't know what this is, who this is. It could be Castian, it could be the creature that formerly was Castian, or it could be a, a whole other creature inhabiting Castian's old body. Yeah, with what Essig said, they could have brought anything over. So, we have some options. I kind of, as I'm saying this, I'm moving back just a little bit, so. I'm not talking right in his ear. Mm -hmm. um, Ashrin, very quickly, as you guys are mid-conversation, you get a voice in your head. That Familiar fuck. one. Hello. Sedermere has fallen ill. I had to go home. Shit, 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 shit. You're on the clock. Shit, 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 shit. Guys, uh, Sedermere's on his way home. Okay. Um, should I just cut off his hand? Um. It's in his hand. Should I respond to, uh, the king and queen? 
Just tell, tell him okay. Just tell him okay? Yep. Alright, uh, I respond and say, uh, working on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, take the hand, leave. Point of order, open the cage, take the hand and leave. Why are we opening the cage? You want to stick your hand through there and him slam your face into it? Or you want to run out? Fair enough. Is the cage locked? Cage is locked. Cage is locked. Any traps? Next, I can open the cage and probably do it in one or two twin cuts. That investigation check for the trap on the cage. And what would you say? If you can get it open, I can probably get the hand off in one or two clean cuts. In a minute, we'll cross him out slightly. I don't want to see this. Fanoa could probably do it in one. Ash, do you want to go yeah. out and keep watch? Vivian, you should go with her, too. Keep her company, make sure, you know. Also, she's not going to be able to open that cage. I hope you know that, pointing at Jack. Also, uh, Jack. To be fair, though, we kind of want the hand intact. I feel like Fanoa might destroy it. If he does more power, I'm better at precision. We're 100 percent sure that the hand is what we're here for. That seems like a pinpoint, from what I can tell. And you're sure that's the astral shard? I felt like it. We're not leaving it behind somewhere? Well, if we cut off the hand, we'll see if there's any magical aura coming from him anymore afterwards. Okay. But it is... Right. squeak off to Fanon and says, I can transform back. I can check. Vero said they can transform back and check if we want. They'd have to not be Badgeral anymore. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Just... That definitely sounds like a better plan. Yeah. Cause... Oh, maybe you can swap thoughts to the ritual casting it, too. Oh, wait, no, you already used swap thoughts, because... Never mind, ignore me. <laughs> yeah, we don't have time for rituals right now, either. Mm-mm. Which is my point, but then I remember Daryl just straight up can't do rituals. I'll check as Beryl returns from their... Bajeral form in the arms of Fenoa, having to be put down for... The casting of the spell. As they cast a spell, and you see them instantly focus in on Cassian, you kind of see a curious look. It's the hand, and it's all of him. I don't know how I was to explain that. So are we about to just kidnap this man, or...? I... I think we should just take the whole last dude and burn that bridge when we get there, because we know he's coming back. Don't have much time to... The to problem is, we don't this know... Out. I say we kidnap him. We don't know... what he is. Like, is he, like, seems alive now? All of a sudden? Alive is a hard word to place on. But the very least in comparison to what you saw before, there is more pinkish to him. This is gonna sound horrible, but... And I hate saying this. I think we kill him. We don't know what he is. I'd be, I'd be down with that, but we should definitely get Ash out of here first. I'm sorry, Ash. I... It's not an easy thing. But given what happened last time, with how powerful whatever he was now, and mix it with the power of the shard... Do it. That's not Cassian anymore. Okay. Volmer, take the hand first. When you say the name Cassian... Uh, yep. You instantly see the head kind of like switch. The 
gentle clanging of the chains. Partial resistance. Doesn't actually wake up. Doesn't actually get to move. Just you notice a reaction. To this. God damn it! Get DK's an asshole. Like, I don't want to wake him up and fuck us over, but, like, every inch of me is screaming that I should say his name again and see if he'll wake up. The problem is if he wakes up and it's not him. I'm just gonna whisper uh, Castian under my breath, sort of, again, just to, just to see. There's a notable reaction once again, the head just twitch ever oh. so slightly, the chain just... This time, both Jack and Volmer, you notice that there is this almost wave-like pulse that comes off. And the magic around the chains themselves, while they were already faint as it were, being enveloped by whatever he is getting off, falters for just a moment. I um, don't think this is a good idea. Every time you say his okay. name, that power inside him surges and it might wake him up. And if it does, we don't know what we're waking up. It's your call, Ashram. And if it does, and we have to deal with him, then we can't take you out of the room for that. And we'd have to worry about that, and then also the Archmage coming back, and then possibly having to deal with both at the same time. Well, if we take him out of the chains, he's waking up. Simple as that. So we have to deal with him now. No matter what we do. Do it. One more take the hand. All right, just open. Is the door open? I'm gonna try to open it. Twenty-four. Not relying on Lily anymore. You're doing much better now. <laughs> Strangely enough. Right. Uh, but working on the door itself, and uh, I don't know what you mean, Gimbero. Uh. Okay. Barrel cling to Fanoa is what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> uh, focusing as much as you can on the lock on the door. And it is, once again, another difficult lock. But putting an effort, concentration, and determination into it. You eventually feel the pins one by one fall to your fingers and your pick. Or eventually you hear the a loud chamber. Gonna open it up. Is it open? As you open the door, you hear the very loud creak of unoiled iron echo through the room. Go ahead and give me our counter checks for both of you, real quick. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, without Lily, your your rolls <laughs> are just skyrocketing. <laughs> it's out of spite, sheer yep, fucking spite. spite. As you open up the door itself, you immediately feel the enchantments upon all five of the chains release. The chains themselves are still there, but the enchantments break. Fuck. You see his head just kind of like shake slightly. Enchantments gone. Volmer now. Go. Go in for the swing. Attack. 
16. You go for the With swing advantage? right off the bat, and wait. As you quick question, did you chain to a wall? Can I get advantage on that? <laughs> you won't get advantage. Yeah. Here's why. You go for the swing, and as even though his hand is there, chained, perfectly clean for you to cut off. As you come into contact with the skin itself, it's unnatural. You feel a resistance of the skin itself, and when you focus on where the hand is, you see this dark layer of shadow just protecting him, defending him. I'm gonna do a charge on Crescent and try again. Okay. Natural one. <laughs> As you sink a charge into Crescent and go for the powered up swing. You once again hit impact on you, trying to get a, a cleaner slice, but unfortunately this time getting a much more duller impact. And with your blade embedded in that shadow, give me a strength check, or strength saving throw real quick. <laughs> awesome! I lost when you, Crescent. <laughs> when you go to pull the blade away, it's stuck. And when you focus on where the blade is coming in contact with the shadows, you see it creeping up the blade itself. Fenella, get over here. On it. As Fenella, you're running on over there. You you start to see the head of Cassian kind of lift up and look at you all with eyes that not dead, but he's not dead, but bring semi hollow to a sense. Yeah. As you guys approach, you just see him kind of look directly at you, Volmer. The blade in his arm, or against his arm, being enveloped by the shadow. He goes, Broken. Fenella, get the sword. Wait, which one? Okay, okay. Give me a strength check. <laughs> 21 enough as you grab onto the blade with Volmer and along both of you yank it off as you literally hear a ripping tear of shadow as the blade leaves his arm and you see there's some residual like tendrils that cling onto the blade itself before slowly dissipating from the point. Fuck it. And you see him focus on you again he goes broken hear the chains tense Back. You just shot me. You just Actually, shot no. me. I well, it's dual natural one though. <laughs> no. What are our roles? You muted that. Yeah. Um. Did not mean to hit that twice, but I will fucking do it good. myself. You're good. Uh, Jack. You pick one. You pick one. There's the damage. <laughs> it's a Wait, dual nat one. Yeah, but still. The dual not one. I wouldn't have I normally can't. had advantage or anything, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I. That one on this. Okay. Okay. As you go for the blast, and and in this case with this tight close room, you're not in combat right now. It's very easy to avoid. Uh, Fenoa and Volmer from actually hitting them for any reason uh, in this case. However, trying to go for that blast in such a tight quarters in such a very small room area. Oh, God. When you launch your Elgis blast, and while you do see the impact dissipate off the arm just like before, you're just a faint yep. crack. There goes the manacle. And you just see that the chain that he had has a faint crack in it. That of which Ashrin with a 21 would hit, so if I roll damage for that real quick. God damn. Seven. Fucking okay. hell. Nine. My bad. Nine. Okay. Good to know. As you 
impact directly in the chest of Castian. You see the faint dissipation of the shadows before instantly closing back in like an armor, a living armor. To which that moment you hear the creak and cry of the metal before it breaks off. You see the hand just kind of hang limp for a couple seconds before he goes to reach over to the other one starts just tearing to rip it off. Can I swing? If you want to. Oh yeah, I have two beams with Eldritch Blast. 20 does not hit. You go I'm for the hit. Act hmm? I'm gonna activate Blade Song and take another swing, but not aim for the hand this time. I just wanna fucking hit this guy. Okay, well first off, that would have been your action. Uh, and you do hear him mutter again. He says, broken again. As he goes to break off the other restraint of his wrist that he has. As for Noah, you go to dig your blade into his waist. And you feel impact with the shadow. You feel like you make contact with skin. But it literally bounces you back out of it. In that moment, with at least his upper arms released, you see him just kind of look up at all of you and just says, Broken. Just standing there. Yeah, if you want to take a second swing, go for it. Eleven misses still. Try to go for the slash, and the shadows stop you again. Um. Today? Uh, it will use earlier that day. It recharges at dawn. Fuck. No, we used it the previous night, wasn't it? I haven't used it. Oh, that's right. No, yeah, it was yesterday. Yes, it was. contacted yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe update them. Just like. They made a fucking monster. Um, I mean, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Good, and I'm gonna take two shots. That is okay. much better, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> First one. Okay. And second one. Not really? One, though. <laughs> and then plus, what is it? For some reason, it's not doing my genie's wrath. Yeah, didn't uh, Beyond Twenty got an update? I don't know if it's fucked it up now. It did fuck it up. I think. Um, I think it's a plus four. Yeah, it's my yeah, proficiency it's bonus. So what is that? Twenty damage total. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Guys, we need to deal with this. Agreed. All right. I'm just gonna Let's keep go popping off shots. Initiative. Yeah. I didn't click. I keep forgetting. I apologize. Damn it, Fanella. Yeah. Astrid, initiative. Sorry. Writing out fucking well, sending testament. stone message. I'm gonna throw my mouse out the fucking door. <laughs> you need a new one, man. It's not that old! Uh, you probably got some gunk underneath it or something. With a little crotch goblin. What were we missing? Oh, Fanoa. Yeah, I forgot 11. to close my token. I got 11. Uh, I'm imagining Fanoa has higher dex than Jack, but I'm not actually positive. What's your that. dex at? One sec. Uh, 17. Fuck, by one. <laughs> I got a 16. <laughs> and then Ash and Veril. You rolled so fucking high. Veril, you got 14, Ash. Veril has 15, by one also. 
Okay. So, Feral's gonna be the first to act, who, uh, he, they are not sure what to do here. This is the situation of situations. They're just gonna hang out for now because they got nothing offensive and you guys are up close. I mean, they got a spear. You have a spear, but you guys are up close. Ashen, what you doing? want to send a message through the sending stone but I don't know if that's going to help at all honestly I'd rather at least just have the safety net of if we fail now they know there's something dangerous in there giant goat time Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a, a message through the stone. Okay. Um. Uh. I'm just gonna say Cassian's been implanted with shard. He's too powerful. Saramir has been doing experiments. Uh, he is dangerous. Help. A pause, a momentary one. You know, go about the situation we were expecting. Help is a loose term. Escape Please might be the you. better option. And you do know that there, there's a, not a lack of empathy towards you. It's more of like, this is not a situation that was planned for. Okay. Um, and this is, this is the king answering. Okay. Uh, king says we should escape. We need to try first. I, can I can too, but at the same time, I'm very much pissed at everything right now. So, like, I'm going to have to hit a tree or something after. I could get behind that as long as long. Well, purely because we can't see his health bar, so he's really strong. <laughs> Joking. Um, we I should get try. Behind running, but... We should try first. We, we've been taking swings at him. That's your action. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Take more. Yeah. Do I even have anything that I can use as a bonus action here? Let's see. Hold on. Because if we leave now, we'll never have another chance at this. Yeah, no, I'm done. Um. Fuck. <sighs> Shit. So, I'm gonna take two swings. Fucking crit! 
Does the 21 hit? You have, does it. you have advantage. That just draws the charge. Yeah, I was hoping that it didn't, honestly. Yeah, the first hit dispels the charge. Well, hey, but hold I, on, hold on. The first hit from no that 20. You have advantage. Yeah. She's not raging. Yeah. It doesn't no. matter. Oh. Pack that kick. Oh, oh, so that's one hit. Yeah. Like, yeah. The first totem one is hit. active permanently. I believe the bear is the one that's like, you have to be raging for it. Oh, yeah. ignore that first click then. Well. Oh, nope, nope. He's correct. While raging. Is it? It is while raging. Wolf, while you were raging, your allies have advantage on melee attacks. Yep. Did Finelli use her bonus action during her our surprise round thing? No, but it's a little late for that. <laughs> The one time Fanoa doesn't rage. I mean, she already <laughs> said about she was pissed too. off. Yeah. yeah. She straight up said she's pissed. Like, she was RPing raging, but she didn't fucking rage. So the first one is 16. And then the second one, which would only be the first hit, would be 17. Okay. As you... Slash across on both sides, forcing him to the shadow. You still have bonus action movement. Yeah, also I was gonna say, uh, can you see his health bar? Not yet. Shit, okay, um... Okay. Nigirundo! <laughs> Nigirundo! As you miss the step away from him, and you watch as, with those two slashes across him, there's a far more virulent and immediate reaction to it. Where you see the face kind of like scrunch and groan before you eventually just see him just raise a hand to his head. There's almost this grin that comes across the face and goes, that's the last place I expect to see any of you again. The voice you recognize as a certain tiefling turned out to be a changeling. Mother. He just it kind of mother looks across the room and he goes, That Archmage, I'm going to gut him. And you watch oh. him spend his action to I mean, break. Exactly. You wanna help he... us? Yeah, me? He is gonna oh, spend so his action guys... breaking his restraints you... at the moment to get out of the cage. As you say that, Ashwin, go ahead and make a persuasion check for me real quick. This is also the dude that fucking almost killed us multiple times. Well, the 26, you do see him actually kind of like step out, and when you do see him like raise a hand to his chest, where you have already impacted him a couple of times, he kind of look and he goes, You're not with him. You're not here to erase the mistake that he made. Fuck no, man. <laughs> what mistake? <laughs> this body. Even the Bastion? heart must grow hard at some point. You actually watch him as he kind of raises his hand and you just see... Almost like willing it out, just punch him like. Willing it out, the astral shard just kind of like... Grows out of it. His student was... Ambitious. Work together, you say? And you watch as it seeps back into him. He's gonna wait at the moment. Vanilla, what are you doing? As he just steps out of the cage, he's currently just standing there at the moment, waiting for you guys. Sure, I'm a rage in case either way. <laughs> if you rage, you don't. Uh, I can smack myself. I've done it before, he's cool with it. <laughs> I wanna have an 
You can. Oh, well, also, take note. I let me double check. I believe it's if you rage and you go an entire turn without doing anything, as well as not getting hit. You're fine. One... So it'll come back to your next turn. Okay. It will still be there, but you need to do something by that. Okay. That's what I thought, but I want to be sure. I'm, my brain is not going to work well. Yes. Well, if you yeah. end your turn having not attacked or not been attacked. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a rage, and then okay. I'm just going to kind of sit there, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to stare down. Okay. Jack, what you want to do? This motherfucker tried to kill us twice. I'm going to take a couple steps back. He allows it. Hi, I attack. I'll just blast twice. Okay. First one's a miss, second one's a hit. Oh, yeah, you can hold action if you want to, Fennel. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Thank you. And I'll use my uh, thunder on it. So, ten. Okay. You tried to kill us twice already. Fine. Okay, can I smack? Cause she meant to hold her action, so if that way if someone to. else. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't realize that was a thing. Thank you. I'm gonna take the two swings. First one misses. Second one hits. Ten and fourteen plus three for rage. Seventeen. And as you launch that Eldritch Blast, and Fanoa reacts with slashing across him both times, trying to get one into him, you don't see him flinch or really phased all that much. But you do see him kind of just like, I only tried killing you once. Let's make that clear. I need... I Stop that one time. Your point? <laughs> Vulmer, <coughs> Jack. Close enough bastard. You are not close enough. Vulmer and Jack, I need you both to make wisdom saving throws at disadvantage. Meanwhile, Fenoa, Pharaoh, and Vivian are going to make it straight ball. Par for the course uh, for mine as a player's wisdom saving throws. God damn. Ooh, Vivian. And obviously, the NPC is involved with me. <laughs> no. Why are our roles today so shit? I swear to God. Barely when they the matter. Only one who passed, huh? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Ashran, how do you feel about uh, killing your whole party again? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> To start off with, everyone take 15 points of psychic, or yeah, psychic damage, except for Veril, who only takes 7. And Volmer and Jack, you feel this echoing vibration within you that burrows down deeper to a connection that you have, as you hear even Crescent cry and Chadra. As you see him inhale deep and just let out a bellowing war cry that seems to wail like the death of a million soldiers, pierce into your ears down to your very soul. Everyone except for Veril is stunned for one turn. And me. 
Oh yeah, and you. Sorry, you didn't take any damage, right? Yeah, you were close enough. Motherfucker. That is his action. Well, it's if, done. If I had the room in my build for it, Jack would be taking a level of barbarian right now. Because <laughs> he wants to rage. <laughs> Hearing Shadri cry. We can be Chaudhry rage buddies. Barrel. Better than nothing. They're not as buff as okay. I was gonna say like they are as buff as no they're not. They hide the wolves. Holy shit, that's a wow. Long, that's a ass long fucking, fucking text. Yeah. Very long text. Well, at least now we know how to you know clear any chat real quick. And <laughs> just one spell from Vero. <laughs> Roll. Ah, uh, they go before him. Right before him. Perfect. 14, 13, 12, um, 11. That's gonna be their action. Ashton, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> so everybody else is stunned except for me and Veril, right? Yep. We're just you see them all split. holding their heads in oh, just Jesus. a piercing, in a piercing agony. I'm gonna look at this not Castian person, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna ask him, "What did Saramir do to you?" Chained me up. Thought it was a good idea to try and save his little. Apprentice, by torturing me. Ironic, isn't it? Torture the body of the one you want to save. Where is Castian? I haven't the slightest of ideas. And the shard? Not a great idea. Gonna do anything? Can I? Can I drop a twenty-foot radius sphere and not hit? Well, fuck no. Veril no. just put the wolves there. God no. damn it! And also, Finoa is right next, also, so that would have been chaos. Yeah. <laughs> You haven't used that in a bit. What? I said chaos bolt. <laughs> oh, speaking of, uh, Vomer and Jack for shits and giggles, concentration checks on detect magic. <laughs> oh yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> you know what? I swear to God, if we have to kill this dude ten more fucking times. <laughs> no. I'm gonna lose my shit as a player. He's gonna come back at level 11, right. 14, and 17. I, I fucking shit, I bet. <laughs> Fine. What school of magic was the shouting? <laughs> I don't know why that keeps hitting it twice. The first one is. Yeah. Uh, what is our four? That, uh. Can I. Oh, enervation. My bad. I saw it. Yeah. Fucking. Oh. I don't know why it's sending weird shit. Okay. 48 necrotic. Oh, that's a hard fail. Well played. And then you have the tendril of enervation completely attached to him in that moment. Okay. Yeah. So then I, um, I uh, every turn you can force the damage on regardless. For up to a minute. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, go ahead and roll that d20. It's like another witch bolt, but necrotic. Yeah, it's a different kind, but it's necrotic. D4s instead of D12s. Seven. Okay, you're good for now. Because you have this inky tendril of green-black swirling energy attached to him. He keeps looking upon you with a grin. Balmer, you are stunned for the turn. Blade song only solves when you're unconscious, right? Double check. It only drops when I'm unconscious, yeah. Okay, double check. Le wolves. There we go. Fucking shaking, guys. This is like not oh. great. Stop it. I <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Yeah. I don't wanna get that kind of help. I'm gonna just fucking This real quickly. Oh yes, this one. Yay! Much better. Oh, but they're not fucking that. Oh, I see why I can't do that. Well, that sucks. Okay, I'll do that then. Nope. Cool. Great. Thanks. Uh, my browser settings are not great. Oh well, I know what to do. How many are there? Eight. So that's six fucking attacks coming in, huh? Very nice. All of them miss except for two that are natural 20s. Get fucked. Very nice, wolves. Very nice. <laughs> hey, two's better than nothing. Yeah. And the natural twenty, so they make so four kind of hit. It makes it four attacks, relatively speaking. I mean, there were eighteen rolls, right? Because they all have advantage. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Still, that's like, that's gonna hit most numbers, so it makes sense that there were two twenties. Oh, my bad. That was not natural twenty. So another two d four. Five, nine. That's the first bite. Damn, that second bite hurt. 15 points of damage. Jesus. Good shit. So 20, or 24 points total. Jesus Christ, Wolves. Do you get your spirit quail back? Do you get your spirit quail back? <laughs> this dude's gonna fucking chain stun us. Be the worst Mortal Please. Kombat game ever. <laughs> I have the corner. I can say I can keep you there as long as I want. <laughs> Pretty fucking much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he is fucking surrounded. So as he sees it's all these wolves and all of you all, you're kind of stuck there as it is. Is there anyone who hasn't gone yet that won't get restunned? No, because me. You're not in range. Oh. You're not in range. Because you can't reapply stun, but once your turn ends is when the stun ends. So you're no longer stunned right now. I think Finoa's the only one who didn't get re-stunned here. I know Jack, because it was on Jack's turn. It was on Jack's reaction. So Jack and Finoa cannot be re-stunned. But... He is going to do it again because he's fucking surrounded and it's his best AoE sp every AoE ability he has right now. So Jack and Volmer, go ahead and make wisdom saving throws again. At disadvantage. Vanilla, uh, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for me. And I need to make Vivian. Counter spell question mark? It's not a spell. It's an ability. Barrel failed this time. I had a 15 if you. 15 fails. Alright, Wolves, the fuck do you have? A plus one? Okay, time to roll. This candle. They're all gonna go poof. About eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not good. Eight. One, two. Three, four, five, 
six fail and two pass with natural twenties again. I shit you not. I don't understand what this con what this fucking all but two get nat twenties. <laughs> one got a nat one though. Can I not get a shit roll this time? Okay, that was near max. Okay, that's gonna hurt a lot more. Nineteen points of damage to all but two of the wolves. And all of you, because no one passed. You said nineteen? Yep. That is psychic damage, so all but two of the wolves go poof. It is the third and the second to last wolf. Hmm. You you live, but the rest so of you that's not live. updating. Oh. It's updating on the little marker, but not on the uh, number underneath my health. Oh, I didn't have uh, Vivian take the other damage. My bad. Uh, this one was a 19. The other one was... 15. Vivian's down. Motherfucker. Vivian falls without being able to do anything in this fight. <laughs> Uh-huh. Right there, so then... <coughs> God damn, I messed myself up now. I've missed a lot. <laughs> Team, this would have been nine. Bomber Jack, concentration check if you want shits and giggles. Unless you want to drop con uh, detect magic at this point, it's up to you. Yeah, fucking, why not? I'm gonna ask again though, what school of magic is this screaming? Because he never answered. Because it's not a school of magic. Damn. He has his bonus action, which he is going to do to just. Look at you, Ashran. And he just. Not grins, but smiles, just goes, I can find him if you want. He's bound to be around here somewhere. If I clung on to this, and he raises his hand to show the Astral Shard seep out of his palm again, I'm sure probably he found a way too. Poor seeps back. Just gonna keep standing there. Am I stunned or am I not stunned? You are no longer stunned. Because he cannot reapply oh, stun on you. Am I still raging or no? You would because this would be the turn you need to do something. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's why I thought I should just double check. I ate him. Up. Fuck him up. <laughs> Cut off his dick. You do get advantage because there's a wolf next to you that gives you pack tactics. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nat 20. Nat 20 and 23 hits. Yep, both hit. Go for it. So 14, 17 for the first strike. Or sorry, the second strike. First strike is 17. Why is it through three? Weird. Oh, because Brutal Critical, that's right! You get another yeah. D10 on top of that. Yeah. That's 23 on the second, on the, the critical hit. <sighs> Fucking Fanoa, get him, get him! Yeah, Barbarian DPS. <laughs> Doc, what are you doing? No longer stunned. Um... It's just the smartest one. We're gonna do... First level healing word on Vivian. Okay. And Bonus action, healing word on Vivian, bring her back up. Back. Would it be part of my movement or part or my action to help her up? To help her up like right now so she's not on the floor? Yeah. 
to standing. I'd argue action, because you are lifting her okay. up at that point. I'm going to heal her and tell her, get back, get away from him, or leave. You, you can't get her. You have to tell hurt. me twice, and she's just holding her head. And then I'm backing up. Uh, yeah. Okay. And for my action... That would have been your action. Or are you just, tell, you're just telling her? No, I'm just telling her. I'm. Oh, you're just telling her. Yeah. She's just on the ground. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I need to get something on this guy, too. Um, so, does it look like his wounds have healed at all? Not currently. Okay. Then I'm going to... Fuck. Miss? Miss. It. it hits. So, 10 damage. Strike him across his chest, and once again, he imp the impact caused him to move, but he doesn't so much as flinch. Not gonna stop. Hey. Okay. Vivian, who is going to stand up after movement. Saga. Not hit, God. Just stands there as the shadow just deflects the dagger off. Fuck these shitty daggers. I told you to use a fucking bow. Fuck my mom. Not in that way. Okay. <laughs> Far as she can get with Dash. Errol is stunned. Oh, wait, no. She was stunned. Oh, but she fell unconscious. Okay. No, I'm talking about uh, Vivian. Okay, her Veril. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. But they went she unconscious. unconscious. The stun go through unconscious? I feel like stun would go away when Yeah, I kind of feel like that too. I feel yeah. like that as well. That when you're it unconscious, makes sense. it's like. You can't be stunned and unconscious at the same time. Yeah, kind of. Kind of like Benadryl. You can't have an allergic reaction and be unconscious. It, it's kind of like time. your headache goes away because you're literally unconscious. Yeah. yeah. If you can't focus on it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so we're, we'll say that the stun doesn't take if you get knocked unconscious. Whoa. DM rolling. Beryl is unfortunately stunned, though. So, Ashen, what you doing? Oh, uh, concentration for Veril to see if they keep the wolf. My hope with Saramir is that he's taking his cart and not fucking teleporting. He fa they fail. Veril fails. Wolves are oh, gone. No. Fuck. Thirteen <laughs> points for enervation. <clears throat> As you grip onto and use your action to surge the energy right back through him. See him twitch and move in that instant. Still stands. This dude's a fucking asshole. Yeah, moving a bonus action. I missed Unless... what you said. Space internet cut out. Yep, there you go. That's, I was gonna. I was wondering. You were holding still in like a yeah, grimace on your yeah, face. Yeah, no. Space internet cut out. Uh, when you send the surge of necrotic energy back through him, you see the twitch and the movement, but it still stands. And he, he does keep focusing on you, and he goes, So much for her alliance. Why do you want it? Mother needs to be free. Mother. Do I have world. any clue what that means? You've heard Mother a few times from him, and you have heard it once from the cult. You've heard and... it from Jack also. And... You've also oh. heard it from Jack a few times too. So Volmer's heard it a lot from Crescent. Yep. And that's the thing too, Crescent talks about bringing back Mother. I'm stunned, so I can't talk to Crescent, because fuck me. Well, that's mental, if you 
Well, actually, no. Correction. Actually, you can talk to Crescent because he's also currently screaming. <laughs> That's why you and Jack have disadvantage because both of you have direct spirits that are not having a fun time right now with his spirit's whale. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh, fuck. I... Mm. I do not care how much of a mommy's boy you are. That thing does not belong in this world and it needs to go back. Who do you think I'm trying to send it to? Where do all the trapped gods go? Endless. <laughs> you have much to learn. But she wasn't sealed. Was she? Or wasn't she? I don't... I don't... Jack still doesn't like this guy. No, nope, nope, doesn't matter. <laughs> what you doing, Ashton? You use your action. You still have movement and bonus action if you want it. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm not leaving until everybody else decides to leave. Walmer, stunned, unfortunately. His turn. Does he get the whale back? He does, but he's not gonna use it. I can guarantee that. He's not gonna use it. No reason to attack. It's gonna look down at you, Fanoa. Just right to his side that's been currently hacking and slashing away at him, even when he has shown just so much kindly friendliness to the hordes here. The hordes. Yes, yes, kindness, yes. <laughs> he just kind of smirks down and just goes, This gift can be yours. And he's gonna reach down for you, Fanoa. Reach out and touch somebody. 17 to hit? Yep. Okay. Um, cutting words. I will shut oh, up. Don't yes. touch her there. That is for no no square. Motherfucker! <laughs> 16, does 16 still hit? That's your AC. It, yeah, I think I have a 15. Check, Check your AC. I do, it's never changed. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just wanted to, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Even Jack, every time you try, it succeeded once. That's because it was the guarantee success. <laughs> uh huh. I still rolled a two. Jesus Christ. He reaches down, and as Fanoa, you try and move out of the way, but his hand snaps to your throat, and he grabs it on tight. He just goes, If only you were together with me. And you feel a surge. Bursting energy through you. Eight points of necrotic damage. That was a garbage roll. As it... You feel it almost cut off the throat for a moment before you manage to break yourself off of his hand. He just pulls back and goes... Still not used to the body. Noted. He's gonna do for now. He's still gonna stay in place. Ben, what you wanna do? Sixteen or not one and sixteen, so that both miss because you ain't got no advantage right now. Unless you want a reckless. I do want a reckless. I forgot <laughs> about that. Sixteen still misses, but you can make the second swing. Another one. 
advantage. 22 hits. That's why Reckless does help. <laughs> 10 points. 13 for Rage. As you slice... If the first one doesn't get through the shadow, the second one manages to get through and you slice the body. He's still just standing there taking it. Jack. Um... I'm sure we can make a wonderful team. Jack is... Yeah, I made that mistake once. Fuck you. Fuck it. Jack's gonna cast Hold Person. I should cast Hold Person. And you feel it instantly impact yeah. him? Yeah. He's he not a creature. I a humanoid right now. Yep. I, as I clicked it, I was thinking, fuck, no, that's not gonna work. Well, fuck me. That's yes, for action. No. That was my action. I almighty bow's action just spells. You got um, movement if you want it. Actually, fuck it. Bonus action, I'm going to give Fanoa Bardic Inspiration. Hey, he finally does it! I've done it before. Very, very early on. Yeah, I did it very early on, then I realized, oh, cutting words is going to be a lot more useful right now. Because yeah, we're all yeah. rolling high. Depends on situation. And if I can fucking roll... More than a two. Fuck oh. me, dude. Vivian, is she within range for another dagger? It's the disadvantage, but... Fuck it! She's she has a hand big. crossbow! Yeah, please use the crossbow! I gave it to you for a reason! Make a persuasion check. Both of you. I'm gonna shove my foot up your ass, Vivian, if you don't use that goddamn fucking crossbow. There is a very visible sign of just, like, internal struggle. Fuck this. And she pulls out the crossbow. Misses even worse than before. Jesus Christ! <laughs> she tries to go for the quick draw and instantly fires, and it just goes wide off of her. It just goes, fuck my mom, fuck my dad. We can do that later. Not right now. Fuck Not him. into that. That's how you were born. <sighs> oh, how far she can get? She can get six feet. So that's... Oh. Ashen and Jack, standing close to the stairwell, you just hear the echo of Vivian just go, Oh, fuck me. That's oh, it. no. Fucking hell. Barrel, who is no longer stunned. He teleported home, didn't he? Well, everyone ready for the next campaign? Damn it. Barrel, you got a lot of nothing to work with. Fuck it, use Earthquake. Bring the whole fucking house down. <laughs> if, if we bring the whole house down, we have to recover the shoes and just leave them outside. No, we'll all be dead. If nothing else... Veril is going to... Third level healing word for Noah, because for Noah's up front, and for Noah's looking bad. What the uh, mediocre fuck roll. Out, Ten. guys. Get out of here. Go. Oh, God. I'm going to make a dice roll for Veril, because Veril's such a maybe if. That's a burn of an at 20. They're going to spend their movement getting on the stairs. 
Ashram. What you doing? God, that second one would have been so much nicer. I hate my mouth. <laughs> it just tortures you with the better rolls on the second half. It does, and I'm gonna <laughs> cry. Uh, for you, Fanoa, you got ten more. Um. I'm gonna shout up the stairs to Vivian. Everything okay up there? No! Not at all! What's going on? Creepy statues! Oh, fuck us! Yeah, moving to bonus action if you want it. Just run, we'll catch up. You guys need to get the fuck out of here, Jack. Get out of here. I'm gonna go. I don't think I can squeeze past Barrel, so... You can if you want to. Barrel's mm -hmm. faded and lanky. <laughs> Alright, yep. That was... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, yeah, perfect. Homer, what you up to? Hold it. I, I honestly, I have to go with... I'm gonna fuck them up. I get that I have to say run, but I, like, I think you can take them. Go for it. Busy. Go for it. So I'm gonna do... Normal swing. 27 hits. And point the care thing. And then I'm going to use a booming blade. Go for it. I'm going to roll that for, for that one. Oh, I have advantage on that. When he just barely misses. As you try and charge Booming Blade into it, you watch as he finally, for the first time in this whole fight, actually reacts to grab onto your blade. And he just kind of looks at you and goes, We were having a friendly conversation here, please and thank you. Throws the blade back at you. Friendly my ass. I have been hearing incessant screaming in my head for the past 12 seconds. Forgive me for wanting to stab you. Kind of shoved <sighs> You kind of see him looking at you intriguingly and goes like, So you have one? Another soul? Mm -hmm. You purify me even more. You still have bonus action if you want it. I'm gonna uh, wait here. So that okay. way Ken gets advantage. It is his turn. He already has his will back, but he's not gonna use it. Gonna look to Jack and Ashton, who are furthest across the room, and Beryl, who are all over there. Kind of goes like, "Is this really the way you want to end a friendship? Forged by fire, forged by blood. Strong is kind. He is going to go for Fanoa again because Small has been ripping the shreds. Sixteen. Do you yeah, want to try, Jack? You just need a two. You just need a two. It's your choice. Is... Nope. God damn it! Okay, I appreciate it. Jack's just gonna kill himself. Just. <laughs> is that two ones that in a row? Yeah. Now, not only the two ones in a row, but he needed a two because he got a sixteen. He just needed to drop him down to a fourteen. Mm -hmm. He just needed a two. Uh, Jack commits seppuku in the corner. <laughs> oh dear Jesus Christ! You know what? You can't, you can't, Hold you on. Can't. Hold on. Do you have something, Ashrin? I'm gonna do bend luck and drop his attack roll by four. Can you do that on others? When another creature you can see makes an attack roll, an ability check, or saving throw, you can use your reaction to spend two sorcery points to roll 1d4 and apply the number as rolled as a bonus or penalty. Your choice. Oh, very nice. Fuck it. Oh, thank Instantly. you. It's the first time Instantly you've ever used it. Yeah, the first time. And not only is that also 
undermining Jack's spending of his bardic point. <laughs> But now where the fuck I, are my sorcery points? Uh, go to actions, all the way at the bottom. Actions, not all kidding. the way at the bottom. It, that's my tides of chaos. Oh, is it not there? No. Oh, then it has it's in, be... I think it's in features and traits. Yeah, there yeah. they are. Yep, yeah, okay, that's... Fuck, it's stupid. God, DD Beyond, that's a little bit of a funky one. Alright. <laughs> As he reaches down once more to grab onto Fanoa, while Jack, who tried to whistle at him to break his attention, does literally nothing. Ashran, this time calling upon your own sorceress magic to quite literally bend the space around his grip for just a minor of an instant, making him misplace his grasp in that moment. And you seem to kind of look curiously at that and goes, huh. Well, isn't that new? Well, then. And you're gonna watch him just kind of clench his fists together as he takes a not a battle stance, but almost a defensive stance. You watch as the shadows all around his body grow pitch black and solidified like an actual shadow armor. If we're getting serious here, I won't mind doing so. Negotiations have fallen through. Tree. 22 hits. Okay. I just remembered. Fanoa, you reckless attack. That means he gets advantage against you. Yep. I have to roll again. No, you don't. Natural, Natural. 20. I call bullshit on that. I'll screenshot it to you. That's still I only a 15 to hit. Uh, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> Yeah, it 50, is. 50, four, nat 20 auto hits. Five. He's got a natural 20. He has a plus. Minus 5. Wait. It still hits. So, hold on, hold on. Don't you... Your Tides of Chaos can force a reroll on someone? That's Ben, ben That's, Luck. Tides of Chaos. Uh, Once oh, so there you go. has an advantage on one attack roll. Uh, 5 p.m. Yeah, that's just for me. Fuck. I okay. call so much bullshit on the amount of nat 20s you fucking roll. I, I have rolled a lot of nat 20s. Well, yeah, it's well, 6 5 p.m. That was just now. Dude, I I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that means that it... Unfortunately, trying to bend everything to your advantage... So would we get all that shit back because we wouldn't have used it if it was I, I, I would say yes, yes. I would say okay. take all that back because you would. It would be a nat twenty. That's a little meta game me regardless, but <laughs> yeah, I would absolutely yeah take that back. Yeah, take that shit back. Thank you. And oh, you take twenty six points of narcotic damage as he goes right for the throat, and this time his grip as you see him just kind of be like, let's try again, and he grasps even tighter than before as you feel the world go black for a minor instant only barely able to grab onto and rip the hand off with what little strength you have left dang it it's your healing potion uh yeah you can yeah. I know I can yeah. don't try act like I can't I mean I could change the rules right now I swear to God, if you do, I will cry. I will cry so hard at you. I will fly over there and I will smack you. KTK loses his party again and has to spend another month looking for a new one. Damn. Mark my ass. It was a year and a half, motherfuckers. Yeah. Which, that, that helps my point. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, so, 2d4 plus 2. Unless you get to the item. It should do a little dice roll for it. There you go. Plus two, so eight. You get eight points of healing back. As you chug, 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 chug. You can move if you want to. The contemplation. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, uh, move to a little bit. One sec. He is not going to take a type opportunity on you. Jack, what you 
doing? Bonus action, second level healing word. Two. Uh, the fuck? Okay, whatever. So nine now to Fanoa. Well, no, because like I clicked what? it and then asked Pact or Spell Slot. And then when I clicked Spell or Pact or whatever, it, yeah, guessed it again. Oh, okay, okay. So Do nine to... nine points of healing? And Jack's pissed, so he's uh, going Giant Ape. Okay. Ape. Oh, see on that, I believe I did great. Uh, 157. He's also not looking very good, because uh, that number on the screen is not right. He's at 20 hit points. Oh, is it not right? Nope. It's oh. not updating for some reason. And um, Detect Magic drops. That's right, because Polymorph is... Constantly. You're at 20 hit points on my screen. Oh, not on my screen. Really? On my screen? I, love, um, I, I think Jack, Jack, you're going to go for the flank, right? Uh... You, I just, yeah. Because I love the mental image of the giant gorilla on one side and just the small little wizard on the other. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Since Fanoa moved. That's Anish action bonus action movement. Okay. Vivian, who is upstairs, is just going to kind of pick and dance, honestly. There is shit going on up there. Barrel. Oh dear God! Fucking wolves get annihilated, but it'd be good to leave you guys with wolves. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave you guys. With wolves. They're gonna be out of range, so they at least don't need to do. Could they occupy the same space as me since I'm so big? Like oh, underneath. Not so sure. I don't know if there is a ruling for. Yeah, I'm not sure. It makes sense though. It would make sense, honestly. They saw the cage in that center point. Not aligned, which annoys me, but it is what it is. You could put them in the cage and they could. You could put them in the cage. The door is open. Just put them in the cage. Oh, that's true. Put it in the cage. That's a fair enough point. Yeah, that's true. Fair enough. Fair enough. I got 11 again. Oh no, they got 13 this time. Never mind. Why did I go through? Oh, because I clicked the steering center initiative. Oh, That's what they had last time, too, yeah. Was 13. Oh, so they did, yeah. So yeah. they did get 13 again. Yep, yeah, never mind. Then, yeah, it's so weird. Like, nothing's so. updating on my end for, like, my health bullshit. Dude, fucking refresh it. Five. I'm just gonna run on past you, Ashran, if we're actually running away. Oh, there Ashran, it goes. Ashran, you're up. On the stairwell, what you doing? One more fun little squeeze for our friend before I... Very good squeeze on that. Head upstairs. Oh. Do you have to be, like, in sight or something, or...? I have to be able to see them. Uh, see them in 60 feet, which is still a little scary. I believe it's 60 feet, generation. Uh, range, yeah. You could just sit back there and just keep poking them. I want to go make sure that Vivian's okay. Fair enough. I don't... I don't... Not that I can heal. But Barrel's up there now, so hopefully that'll help. That yeah. is the 
first spell magic or spell damage that has been caused on him. I need to make a constitution saving throw for me. Oh god damn it. Wait. Oh, uh, first spell damage since the new form? Since he activated his armor. Twenty I think it's enough. As you watch your own enervation whip through and strike at him, you watch as he instantly snaps towards you, and as his hand flows out towards you, you see that whatever residual energy is through the enervation itself gets corrupted into a pitch black darkness and follows into you. Take only half, it's half. But... Six points of necrotic damage, that is half. As you feel this invasive energy go in towards you from striking at him with your own magic. And you see the armor itself kind of flicker ever so faintly. Once again, he goes, looks, he goes, ah, still not used to this. Yeah, moving a bonus action if you want it. How many rounds has it been since I cast this? Definitely not ten, but how many rounds uh, do I have left? Four, I believe. Four, so I have six rounds left of this. Mm -hmm. If I keep it up. If you want to. Does it seem to be doing, like, a decent amount of damage to him? Yeah, seems like he's not... Block he's not resisting or anything like that. Can I... Can I peek my head up through the stairwell to see, or it am is, I like... It's 30 feet up. 30 feet, okay. Yeah. Cool. Um... I'm gonna stay here. I've got that on him. I might as well just sit here. Okay. Okay, so... Same thing as last time. I'm starting with... No, fuck it. I'm gonna do a charge on the first thing. Okay. Come on, fuck him up. First one misses. Like the one hits, but that's with the yeah. Yeah, No, he has advantage. Oh, that's right. You have advantage. Never mind. Yeah, yeah that hits. Yeah. Back tactics and flanking. So, wait, you're doing a whisk charge, so that's your, that's your one yeah. swing. You only get oh, one swing it. when you charge as part of the turn. You're right. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take that back. Okay. Normal Because I prefer having two swings than the one powerful swing. And then I'm gonna Grooming Blade again for the second swing. Okay. This is the second swing. Fuck. You trying to Booming Blade is making your miss. <laughs> yeah. As you go in for the first swing, slice across that shadowy armor, the second one just with that booming energy, you watch him kind of sidestep it. That's the first time you've actually watched him physically move to dodge the attack. Kids goes wrong. Alright, wolves. <laughs> Good god. Oh. Oh, wolves. Here we go. All of them miss except for one that's a nat 20. Why? Yeah. Fucking why? Like, it, why? Oh no, one hits. No, one does hit. Yeah, 22. Yay. So two hits, one's a nat 20. There we go. They're wolves. We're being the wolves. Maybe he's gonna stun fast, because fun game mechanic. That's just for damage. Six points for the not crit chance. And then the crit is. Gotta save Volmer. Thank you again for giving me this orb, because. Nah. <laughs> I mean, you said you wanted Polymorph. You can't get the spell. <laughs> yeah, but I appreciate it, because this is fun. She's gonna go and. Within 30 feet, you can... yeah, Polymorph is like one of my favorite spells. Turning a giant fucking dragon into like a snail. <laughs> Who's 
going to use his secondary ability of his armor. Called Fuck Everyone Within a 30 <laughs> Foot Radius. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, it'll be that one. That's the instant reaction he has. So, as you watch him kind of look around once again, surrounded by wolves once more, he just kind of goes, You never learn your lessons, do you? <laughs> you watch as he brings his hands to the center point. We see him condensing all of that shadow energy. And he is going to just let it burst in a booming raging of darkness. I'm going to need. Yeah, no, after just outside of range, 45. You are just within range. I need all of you to make con concentration checks. Or, sorry, constitution saving throws. Very nice, Manoa. If you got the second one, Asher, that would have been a save. Beryl, for the love of God, can you stop making fucking wolves and making him do this? One strategy Veryl knows, and you know it. Veryl, they still have a wire. Damn. None of them pass. All the wolves. Yeah. Everyone except for Finoa. Even the 18 fails? Fuck. 18 fails. Wait, where's the 18? What are you talking about? There's an 18, it's the third one down. On the wolves. Four, oh, sorry. six... Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yes, 18 fell. Fuck. Dude's got his DC like a fucking dragon. Just enough to kill the wolves. 13 points of necrotic damage to all of you. Except for Fanoa, you only take 6. And you are all blinded. Bye, wolves. Can I make a concentration check on Detect Magic? Yes. Oh, fuck. I gotta do Do I make a concentration check on, uh... Innervation? And Jack yeah. make concentration check. We on... the last twenty because I took it twice, but I'm. I'm... <laughs> I do have um, advantage on concentration checks. You are because you're a warcaster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that that fucking helped. It does because yeah. it's half damage or ten. So regardless, you save. Cool. Like I feel points. I feel cheated because I didn't even get to click it twice. It just did it for me, and I'm pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> really mad at my mouth. You take like a toothpick and like clean underneath the work. I it's... can't get under there. Like it's you take a knife. One that doesn't look like it's from nineteen ninety six. Fuck off, it matches my keyboard. It's cute. <laughs> just fucking with you. No, you're the only one who isn't blinded. He's just gonna walk right on up to you. Still get attack of opportunity? Uh, you nope, know, because if you can't see the enemy you can't take attack of opportunity. I do. I see his magical source since he's constantly emanating magic. And I just did a concentration check for detect magic. Which is why I instantly ask, yeah, can I do a concentration check? Real quick. I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. Give me a counter check. Let's see. Yeah, I'll give it. I'll give it. It's enough. Yeah. That's a smart play. I'll give it. It is still a disadvantage, though, because you are still blinded. <sighs> Not one. You try and swing with that it. singular source, but just seeing a source of magic is not enough to tell you where the body is. Could you, you can see I direction, be... but just off of it. Would he have advantage, because technically we're still flanking? It's flanking. Yeah, it's flanking. Back. No, because then he would have been standing right there to break the to break it. So you would have had been standing here. Because that's when he leaves his area of attack. Yeah, fuck. If it would have been just lower. You thought I was being smart. You were. You were, but yeah, sorry. 
As he kind of just walks up to you, Fanoa, and kind of just looks down at you, you just watch him as he just raises his hand up again. And using his bonus action, you just watch him clench his fist, and you see a fair number of his wounds start to close. If you made him blind us, stun us, and self-healing, I swear to fucking God. That was bad. That was a bad healing moment. Good. Good. Ben, what you want to do? Punch him in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, I want to I go to stab him in the nuts. Go for it if you want to. One second. Reckless or no reckless? That's a big question. I'll go reckless, because me... <laughs> that misses. Okay. Next swing. Oh my god, it's a oh double god. What? 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 <laughs> what? what? Hello! Okay, roll damage in the second <laughs> swing. What? Hello there! Does that mean you're here to help us? Dalmar suddenly appears in the shadows. It dies instantly. Fuck. I don't think anyone uh, was at this one. Dalmar, let's just tell you right now, this is a moment of any for you to show up. We're all Whoa. dying. We're not doing so great. We're doing oh, fine. Man. Don't worry. I just got home from, uh... From doing family stuff and and Jack told me just before I left like oh yeah I'm going to game now I'm like and I got home and I'm like I should just surprise him I should just jump in. Oh yeah. you're fucking my layout but that's fine because this is a fucking moment of moments. Jack you're blinded with two. Question. Important question. Uh huh. Dalmar does that mean you're back for good? That is a good. At question. least for a Um, I had not even discussed that with myself. Okay. How, why did I phrase it that way? <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting way to phrase it. Because I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Because you have a conversation with the expert. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's completely fair. I was just wondering. Um. It'd be a... Okay. So, Jack, what you up to? You're blinded. I know. Moving towards wherever the combat sound is. Uh, give me a perception shot. It's Fanoa screaming. Yeah. yeah. You, you don't know which way she's screaming towards. Is what I'm saying. Oh, that's Fair me. <laughs> that's actually me, not the giant ape. I still have all the things installed. Yeah, still enough. Okay. We're, all, we're gonna fucking TPK, and we'll then he's gonna just like flash to Delmar and these new people that he meets. That's okay. How we get a new party. That's fucking funny, actually. <laughs> that'd be pretty. That'd be a pretty calculated way. Really cool. I was like, yeah. <laughs> So straight roll. It is straight roll. Twenty-two hit. And then multi attack. That yeah, one misses. That misses. Okay, so twenty-four points of damage on the first strike. And he is going to finally use his legendary action because you guys oh, are going to really him off now. I don't like you right now, KTK. Yeah, I very no, we're all really upset right now. Ellis Rebuke. Okay. Deck 30 saving throw. A yell in his face. He's not even a fucking tiefling. He's just a changeling. This is bullshit. He's not even that anymore. No, he's not even that anymore. Are you counter Get selling? Fucked. Get fucked. Counter selling? Okay. No, you yeah. can't because you use your reaction to swing. Yep. Fuck. Never mind. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take it. 18. Yeah, it's level are you guys? Level. That's what she said. <laughs> Elish Rebuke. That fails. You only take seven points of damage. Wow, wonderful. Uh, that tickles yeah. a little bit. That very much tickles a little bit, but that does prompt a concentration check. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> that doesn't matter. <sighs> you cheeky bastard. Okay. Do I get a save at like here. each of my end of my turns for blindness? Sorry, what? Do I get a save for Blaine at the end of my turn? Uh, are you done moving? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Constitution save throw. Uh, motherfucker. Nope. Can I run that polymorph, please? Why? <laughs> oh, Dalmar, you have no idea. This game oh has been just God. a mess of bad rolls. Yeah. For, like, weeks. It's only bad rolls when it matters. Yeah. Dalmar, yeah, Ashrin, like... what you doing? 
pump them, pump them good. I can't see the bastard, so I can't use my fucking thing. Oh, you're blinded. Thing. Does that break when you can? Yes, I have to be able to see him. So enervation's gone. No, it doesn't break. Oh. I don't I think. I think it does. If the target is ever outside the spell's range, or if the target has total cover from you, he doesn't necessarily have cover. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have total can't cover. Okay, fair enough. Yes, yes, you're right. Yes. Okay. So I, but I can't, I can't activate it because I can't see him. Correct? Uh, let's double check. This. And he moved. I don't. Now I have to find my spell ends, You can use your action on each of your turns to automatically I heal twenty-eight. I would say you still have it. Okay, so I can yeah. still just squeeze I, him. Yeah, I say the initial needs the sight, but once you've got him, kind of like Chaos Bolt, you've got him. It's a chain. Cool. Perfect. You got the doggy collar on him. God, yeah. that's haunting. That's haunting. Please. 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 Jesus. Just oh, Jesus. I'm gonna that, cry. Read that, that taunting of 13 to 25 is so painful. Read that last line of innervation too, so you know. Yeah, I know. I, okay. I, 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 uh, uh, I can regain hit points equal to half the amount of necrotic damage. So if he takes 13, I can regain six. Six. six? Yes. Let's take lower. It's such a good spell. Fuck. Very nice spell. I forgot I had the healing part to it. Same here. <sighs> you have movement and bonus action if you want it. Um, I'm gonna shout upstairs. Uh, everything going okay up there? Uh, Vera would have made it there by now, and you just kind of go. They're just being creepy. They're not attacking. No. Okay, get out. Um, they're being creepy at the door. I'll Jump out the window. Screen. We're underground. What Go window? Back. We're underground. Wait, was there two? I forget. There was two levels to the underground. Yeah, yeah. two levels. <laughs> Fuck. Is that all you're doing, Ashman? Um. Yeah, I can't see. I don't want to try to climb up the stairs blind. Uh, okay. Cool. It's great. Con Perfect. Uh, constitution check. Constitution saving throw. Sorry. 25. You break the blindness at the I end of your turn. As you, take, as you, you stand there on the stairwell not wanting to do anything. You focus on the, the, the sight yourself and you break it. Fuck! Oh my god, Delmar, your camera. Hey, guess what? When you put your camera on, you're now the DMC. Congratulations, you're the DM now. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you look at, if you go to my stream, uh, I have it set with cameras, but they're on positions in the Discord call. Oh, oh shit, so you just took to my to spot. Everybody, didn't it? Yeah, so you just took my spot, so now you're the DM on my Beautiful. stream. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, now, now, how does this fucking up? Deep voice. Who's DM oh, now? No. Is he still Dalmar DM? Yes, he's, yeah. he's still yeah, he's still Dalmar Damn. DM. I was hoping me turning mine back uh, on. But it, it. Go, it goes in um, it goes in order of name, I believe. No, that can't be. It's alphabetical, I believe. Yeah, but. Yeah, F. Yeah. Yeah, it's alphabetical. It is alphabetical. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, so that just fucked up a lot of things. God, damn it. That's fucking funny. Ah, that pain. That's pain. It's so. It looks so weird seeing Dalmar the DM. <laughs> Quick, Dalmar! It's the return of the king. Maybe make what's his face die. <laughs> you have the power right now. Right, I'm trying to fix that while we're working on things. Okay. Uh, so you shook off blindness. It is. Well, we're currently blind. You can see. Yeah, do I, do I still have a lock on his location with my detect magic bullshit? You know, at least make your way to him. The attacks are still a disadvantage. Well, straight roll because of Vanilla, but... Straight yeah. roll because of Vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. You know what? Fuck it, charge. Okay. Mm. Oh, thank yeah, god. Yeah, very good. That hits. Through the back. 
That's a meager force damage, but hey, damage is damage. Yeah. Bonus damage is bonus damage. I want this guy to fucking die. <laughs> he's not gonna die. I, he, we're gonna drop him and he's gonna pop right back up and we're gonna be screwed. I just know it. And KCK is gonna hit us with the um, actually, he has five more lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is actually a JRPG? Which would mean that he has health healing, stunning, blinding, and multiple lives. Actually, mm -hmm. I didn't tell you who has a Phoenix up feather, sorry. Yeah, fuck that oh. shit. <laughs> I'm wondering if you, if Volmer and Fed know what those are. I got it from Phoenix. Same. Uh, yeah, I don't think you know how bad that is. Phoenix up means you come back with full health. Yeah, yeah that's how it goes in most yeah. games. Also, is it a con save for blindness? Uh, yes. Thanks for reminding me. Still blind. He's actually just gonna kind of stand there. He's actually gonna outstretch his hands and just look at you, Ashen. Specifically you. No, god goes, damn it. I told you I could find him. You'll lose him forever. It's his body, after all. Let him die, let him die. Let him shrivel up and die. I killed him once. You know what? And that was a terrible, terrible accident. But what's dead should stay dead. Not always the fact for everything. <laughs> I like the big Jack's like roaring in this dude's face, but actually missing and roaring in Volmer's face. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jack, you a good fuck off mint. Oh god. Huh? I have mints, do you want one? Oh my god, pop one in <laughs> Ape Jack. <laughs> in the oh god. Oh my Daryl! god, and Daryl! I told him! What is going on? We go I'm are still the DM. What the fuck? Daryl. What the fuck? This is, this is literally the Avengers. This is literally end game level bullshit. Oh my god. Uh, he is going to. Yeah, no, he's finally gonna call this out, cuz. Y'all ain't being nice. He's been trying to be nice this whole fucking time. Bullshit. <laughs> nice people don't blind their friends. <laughs> he is going to. Watch as he condenses those shadows around his body again, but this time instead of it clinging to him like armor, you watch him almost flex it off, and you watch it split off into three different forms. I have to move these guys a little bit where they spawned in now. Please do not tell me he just made clones of himself. I swear to God. Yes, he did. You watch him pop what, three what shadows. What did he do? Is this a spell? Is this... Seems like some sort of innate ability. Okay. And you just watch him focus on you again. Just kind of goes like... Mother provides her gifts. To those who are loyal. Monk in my hand. KTK? Hmm? I just want to talk. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I just want to talk! <laughs> I just want to talk. I don't want to talk. I want to punch you. you no, know, you, you say you just want to punch I me. don't want to. I'm not even going to pretend. I don't want to talk. You don't want to so you can get close and then you can shoot him with a shotgun. You can shoot him with a shotgun. Jesus. Jesus Christ. What's your dex from? 17. Uh, you are just barely faster. Uh, Jack, what are you? 16. 16. Oh, you're both 16. Hey, Jack, you want to roll d20 for me real quick? Yeah, I'm going to roll one, so it's okay. Okay, roll 15. Oh, you're faster. There you go. Boop. That is his action. He is going to do bonus action heal. Of course, now that That's I'm... That's a much five, better five, healing. Five That's a much better healing. Of course, now that I'm not able to fucking counteract that shit. Hmm? I have a spell that counteracts healing. Intrigued. Yes. Ben, what you doing? As I want to beat his ass. Go for it. Reckless, not reckless? 
You don't need reckless. reckless. You, don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to reckless if you don't want to, because Volmer's giving yeah, you yeah, control. Oh, okay, never mind. Fuck that then. Yeah. yeah. I forgot. 23 hits. Second one does not. Uh, you still have your inspiration die. You could un use on that 19. I do. Can. Oh, it's yeah, a D6. use it on that 19. Yeah, the roll of D6, add it to 19. Perfectly enough. So both of those hit. Beautiful. That's 9, 12 on the first swing. Second swing is a 14 for 17. So all his healing. Jack, still blinded? Yep. Let's, oh, uh... Yeah, can I keep screaming so it's easier for Jack to find us? <laughs> can Just, like, did Fanoa roll a constitution check? No, Fanoa's not blind. Right? Fanoa's not blind. I'm not. not blind. Yeah. Okay. Okay, first one. 28 hit. Second one. 20 misses. Fuck. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Okay. Bend luck, and I will add. One. One, which is all you need. Jack. Okay. Hit. Jack. All you need. Yeah, there so, we go. So, first hit, 20 damage. Yep. Second hit, oh god, 17. Okay. As you bludgeon the body, forcing through those black shadows, it's now finally the time you're starting to see his body kind of limping faintly, in a way. Limping faintly, Const in a way. Oh god. Uh, Constitution same throw. Yeah. He does not make it. God damn it. This is how I felt the last fight when I was fucking blind the entire goddamn thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Each of these shadows are gonna have some fun. Vanilla, Volmer, and Jack, I need you all three to make charisma saving throws. No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Negative two. Is this to be charmed? No! This is not a charm. I rolled good. I rolled a 19 minus 2. Oh, you rolled a 19 minus 2? Yep, Giant Ape has a 7 <laughs> and charisma. Dalmar, Dalmar appears out of nowhere. <laughs> Dalmar, this is where we clack the button. I just wanted to hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> With your classic minus 3 to charisma. Oh god, of I forgot course. about that. Still did better than they did! Did. Oh my god! Oh, it's only worse because of what you are right now, Jack. I swear to god almighty, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to find you. <laughs> I have a school So, so, so can I just say, KTK, okay, in this one boss fight, you have put self-healing, stun mechanics, blinding, possession, cloning, yeah. cloning or something, wherever the fuck those shadows are. Joke's on you, I don't have that much health anyways. This is the actual shard, what'd you expect? I don't like you. I, I expect <laughs> you to do this by morning. A, a, boss fight, a boss fight that is an anti-fun. You say uh, that, but you guys are kicking his ass. Yeah. We're all <laughs> three of us just got possessed. No, you didn't get possessed. Oh, not yet. We'll see what happens. You watch as... All three of them, they go into you for solitary moments. And as you kind of fend off whatever that feeling or emotion is, almost instantly it leaves out of you into these small little ball-like egg shadows. Before you instantly start seeing them cracking open. Into... And they become copies of us. Yep. Yep. Hi, buddies. Saw that one coming. Did it? Okay, hold on. So, on my screen, all of their health healed. That changes all of them? That's yeah. annoying as fuck. Yeah. yeah. And then it even modified my health to 70. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It literally modified your health. That is annoying. Ha! Huh. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, I guess I'll just use the shadow tokens then. Well, that sucked. I was hoping to do it with your guys and make it seem like they're being annoying assholes. Literally make it a who the fuck is who thing. Oh, that sucked. 
Except for Jax, who becomes a giant ape, by the way. Jack is the only one who doesn't become Jack, it becomes a giant ape. Oh, I was fucking hoping we could, like, smack it once and it drops concentration. Okay, gotta reset all your shit back because that is annoying. Ultra annoying that it this does be that some shit. bullshit. Fuck the hell. Uh, Volmer, what's your health at right now? Just say 69. It is 22 out of 69. <laughs> <laughs> ben, I believe you're at. That's 79. 22. That's Jack. How are you going at? Uh, 20 on my normal health and 137 on my ape health. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you get the 62 part, okay. That is their entire actions. Vivian and Veril are having a time. Oh yeah, that's right, Damar doesn't know who Vivian is, that's, that's the story. Dad kidnapped the lady. Yeah. God damn it. Ashwin, what you doing? Jack, you can't even react like that. You kidnapped her and you know it. Nope, oh, I rescued her. And you can heal 13. A non-consensual rescuing, Jack. Isn't that literally what you need for perfect health? Uh, yep. <laughs> Ashwin, you really do. Winter's action movement? Fuck, 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 fuck. I was really hoping that would drop him and it didn't and now I'm sad. <sighs> Gotta fix the cams as much as I can. <laughs> um shit. Uh I guess I'm just gonna shout upstairs again, make sure everything's okay. I didn't hear any crashing or banging, right? No? Okay. Neither the uh, sexual or combat kind. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Veril, uh, Vivian, we doing okay up there? They're still being creepy. Cool. Um, it's a little creepier down here. That's all you're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Bomber, what you up to? Uh, I'm gonna take a swing a swing at Jackass. It's Go gonna be a normal swing. Yeah, straight swing since you're still blinded. 26, so hey. hit. I don't know why my brain immediately went, why are you hitting Jack? Same here. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Exactly. Why wouldn't I stab Jack here? Exactly. Why wouldn't you? It was like, Volmer, you leave Jack's ass alone. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I killed Cerberus already. I'm not killing Jack, too. Uh, yeah. I mean, go for two. Come on. <laughs> Wait, did that not down him? Uh, Eight points. It does not down him. Then I'm going to do again. green flame. I'm still working on this. I'm going to do green flame blade for the second swing. Okay, he's gonna use a legendary action on your first one and health your puke. So go and give me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, this would normally be. Man, Mage Slayer would be great right now. I'm gonna say fuck you to that. Encounter spell. Okay. I was totally working on that, but. Mm -hmm. It's good. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, Dalmar, you've been relegated to Veril now. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Still, I don't know. It's not look bad. Uh, it's gonna confuse so many people. Okay, <laughs> do I still get the nine fire damage? Because I was gonna send that to this fake woman. What happened? 
Do I still get because if you actually no, it's only if you handle a hit. No, it's yeah, only when you hit. Mind. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. There we go. That should be a little bit better. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know. If I do, bend luck. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. I can do bend luck. It's an 18 right now. You need yep. three. I need you three. Need three. Got the four. Fuck! Oh, you got the two. That's the first roll. Never yeah, mind. Yep. The two. The first oh, roll. My fucking mouse is fucking with me again. Oh, I'm so oh, done with it. Again, yeah, the taunts please. are bad to it's good. So, so painful. Please, yeah. this has been an annoying ass boss fight. Just give us this one thing. <laughs> <laughs> you had a lot of things, motherfuckers. Yeah. He could have. He could have done a lot of things early on. You guys got a persuasion check very early on that made him think that you could probably be. Yeah, yeah, we probably could have tried to I was work saying, take note. He could have come at you with this right off the bat. Mm hmm. Are you and Izzy, do you want me to help take down the wizard? I've, I've like, really. I'll give you a chance. Uh, I'll give you a chance. Question for semantics sake. Vanilla is still next to him. Mm hmm. Yeah. Would pack tactics give advantage? I know it probably wouldn't. No, it's fast game. No, it's straight roll. <laughs> that you get a straight roll because you're blinded and you get pack tactic. That's why it's straight roll. I know, I was thinking that's a fucking Ashen's thing. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's melee. It's melee. Concentration yeah, no. check to see, or constitution check to see if you're blind still? Yep. Constitution saving throw. Come on. Hey, no longer blinded. Yay! And you now see a shadow Volmer, a shadow Fen, and a shadow giant ape. Oh, who's that ugly bastard? Like, get all <laughs> he is. Hear the ape noises. <laughs> hey. He is going to just once again look at you, Ashley, and just goes. Your loss could have helped. And you just watch as he summons out the actual shard from the palm of his hand. Doesn't do anything. Stands there. Done. Murder. Go for it. Ben's at that age where she only has one thing on her mind. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> 21 hits. So, do I get both? Because the 26 also hits. You do. Hit. Yeah, you do. You probably only need the one, though. More than likely. I'm just waiting for the roll. Yeah. I want to shove my sword up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you take the first slash. What was the beginning goal of it all was to slice off the hand, and he has it just out there in the open. And you slice through it like butter to drop whatever he has, the actual shard connected to him. And because you're just that petty, and because you are angry gnome, flipping the blade from the swing and shoving it from right where it shouldn't go, up through his body. Honestly, I approve. <laughs> Turning him into a, a Castian popsicle of up. some kind. Important question. Hmm? Does that get rid of the fakes? Nope. Of course it doesn't. Fuck you, KTK. <laughs> yeah. Still blind as an ape. What do you want to do? Um... Do I, did I hear these things or feel where this big dude came from? You felt it. You also hear another ape beside you. Yeah. This one's going to be straight at disadvantage, though, because Ben's not there to give you I know. But I'm hearing probably Fanoa's victory cry. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. Can I tell him there's still one left? <laughs> yeah. He's just gonna go for the biggest target, which is gonna be disadvantage. Yep. 
Fuck. Oof. Disadvantage. Oh. Still hits, though, because you know more yep. than anyone. Giant Ape ain't got no AC. Yep, so first hit, fuck me. And then second hit, no, oh, not one. Not one, unfortunately not. So 16 damage. Yep. You get the first <sighs> impact against, and you feel this amorphous shaping shadow just like bludgeon against the fist. Constitution saving throw. Nope. Nope, still blinded. It is their turn. It says, fuck me. And you just watch as the three of them, rather than do anything hostile against you, phase into the ground. Is the, Are they gonna is the astral problem. shard still here? The astral shard's still there. Just on the ground, you see with the decapitated, or the sliced off hand on the ground. Can I take his hand and just like, like after this is done, can I just take it and then just like beat the shit out of it or something? Your choice. <laughs> Delmar just appears in the shadows. Boink, boink. He becomes the astral shard. Unlimited power. I know this will be a payday. I'm, I'm coming <laughs> down, and I'm going to pick up the shard. Okay. Hello, Fulmer. Let me just stand well, okay, on your you're feet. Okay, you're not trapping me. Oh my! I'm picking up the shard. Okay. You pick up the hand that has the shard embedded. No, in no, it. I don't want the hand. That's gross. I it's just embedded. want the shard. It oh embedded. god, damn it! Yeah. I can well, use a sword to just kind of tip it out. Does it? Jack still blind. I... You just see, you just see ape Jack just kind of like kind of like ripping at his face, kind of like trying to wipe off the blindness. He just pitch black pupils. Yep. Can I hold his hand? <laughs> and like, can I just can I help guide him? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I would imagine you grab his hand as he's still just doing that and you go flying into the air. <laughs> uh, spell magic would work as you cast the spell magic upon him to rid him of the blindness. Go and roll me d20 real quick. Oh, fuck. Okay, perfectly fine. So, Look at his hand, so he can know it down. Yep. <laughs> the astral shard literally embedded into the flesh of the hand. What are you doing? Can I, like, pull it out with giant ape? I would say with giant ape, it's more than easy enough. It's uh, Give me a dexterity check, because it's more of just the grasp of teeny hand and teeny stone. <laughs> yeah, that's more than enough. More than enough. As you See, look, reach not... down below, taking the hand, taking it, so literally just like a, a pebble in your hand. You kind of like, just rip it off of there. Just hearing the tearing of flesh and blood. Okay. Um, he's not going to fit up that staircase, so... Back... He, he's not going to fit up that staircase, right? He's not, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he's just gonna go back to normal form. Still yeah, holding the hand in shard. Revert back to normal. You rip the gem out of the hand, you revert back. In that moment, that Fulmer, you instantly feel a very instantaneous spike of arcane energy just off you guys in the room itself. Uh, fuck, has my Alan given me any warning? He's just he's been trying to get back to you. It's an hour ride to get back, man. He's a bird! And a horse. Horses and birds can kind of keep up with the bird doesn't other. have to fly along the road, it flies straight. Yeah, he can just fly straight there. He doesn't have to do it. It's the also only been thing. like three minutes, FYI. Yeah. Yeah, shouldn't it, isn't it like an hour out? Yes. If he comes by cart. Yeah, if he comes by cart. <laughs> Goat time. So you do watch as Saramir himself appears in the room and instantly registers you all 
and just goes, what has happened to us? Up the stairs. <laughs> You're trying to run up the stairs? <laughs> Old person, wisdom saving throw. Wow, of all times for you to get the natural fucking 20. Oh, ignore me then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As you we do so. I have a question you... for you, Saramir. What happened? He instantly like, kind of registers Jack and registers you, and there's just a very hard struggle in the moment. It's kind of focused. He goes like, What have you done? What did you do? I tried to set him free! That's not Castian! You're right. And it restrained me from coming home. From my magics. What you have just done is released it. There's much to discuss if you'd wish to get your coward back from the stem. Shouldn't have stole from us in the first place, and Jack keeps running. <laughs> that's just, that's just outing. He's just outing. As you say that, and you just see Saramir with a very serious and dire face to him. Looking upon you all. That's where we'll pick up next week. <laughs> Fuck. There is yeah, so much that could be gleaned there. <laughs> ah! Ooh, that's cool. Very nice. The for realsies um, belt pouch that I've been wearing for the last couple days. Yay. Ooh. Very nice. Fuck. Okay, I gotta go. My grandma's gotta get home before it gets too dark. Yeah, and th there's a there's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot to come back to next Fuck. week. God damn it. We're not we're not we're not playing next week, are we? Oh no. Probably, uh, not. probably yeah. not because yeah. Volmer and Fen not being there for this discussion would yeah. be pretty painful. Especially so, Volmer, because he's Session 69 stuff. is week after next. <laughs> yep. Yep, so we'll be missing okay, next week. Volmer, yeah. I, need your, I need your opinion on this. So, okay. I've been talking about having the joke for Session 69 that no one makes a sex joke the entire session. Should we I go am, ahead with it? I am incapable no. of doing that. Please. I'm not I think, it. regardless of any agreement, that's a stretch. I am incapable of doing that. That's the correct. It's like saying to yourself and don't say it out loud. Just... 